Okay, here we are again, back inside Matrix Gold. Uh, hope the videos are helping your designing process. If they are, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button, tap on that uh, notification bell, leave me a like, and absolutely leave me a comment. Really appreciate it. Uh, also, if you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee, uh, right down around in here, there's a super thanks button. Go ahead and tap on that and uh, give me some coffee. <laughs> We're going to be doing a lot of uh, Clay U here, and uh, you'll see that Clay U can uh, create some time issues. So, uh, it, you know, a cup of coffee is nice to have. <laughs> uh, Mastering Matrix Gold, a smooth transition from Matrix. Our third session, our third session already will be on March, Tuesday, March 12th at 11 a.m. Central USA time, so check your time zones. If you're our active member of the Academy, uh, you are more than welcome to attend the show. Uh, and uh, it'll be open to anybody that has an active membership. And we are going to dive into a lot of the commands as far as parametric commands, uh, what the differences are between the old M9 and the MG uh, commands, the parametric commands, and uh, uh, do some designing in there as well. So uh, hopefully going to throw in some golden nuggets. So please, uh, if you're available on uh, March 12th, Tuesday uh, at 11 a.m. Central USA time, go ahead and uh, I'll put a link below to, for the registration. So please uh, check that out. Let's go ahead and get started on today's project. We're going to go... Excuse me. Uh, we're going to go back to a uh, clay you and revisit it. So I'll just go ahead and activate. Excuse me. <laughs> I got the hiccups. Uh, clay you and we'll wait for it to load. And once it's loaded, we can tell by our icons showing up. Uh, today, we're going to jump into the creations uh, menu here. Uh, we'll clay you menu creation tab and do all the drop down. Right. The first one will be a pen face. Uh, a lot of these are pretty close to uh, uh, the same as uh, inside Matrix Gold doing nerves uh, or poly surfaces, but they do offer some uh, new things, and we'll talk about those as we go in, and we'll go into the command line details as well. So first one we're going to do is a, a pen face, but before I do that, I'm going to click in this viewport here, and I'm just going to go ahead and change it to this color so that we can kind of see how the lines draw out a little bit easier for us. Uh, usually if there's a picture behind it, it's it's a lot easier to see what's going on. Uh, and a lot of times that's how you use a pen face to go ahead and get the designs of the item that you want and then go back and manipulate it. And we're going to show all that in future content, how to use a pen face to do some things. And actually I made this thing right here in with a pen face uh, not too long ago. Uh, so uh, there's a lot of options that you have with this command. Uh, so it's it's kind of a vital one for uh, sub D or, or a clay U. Uh, so let's go in and grab the append face. All right. And in our com command line, it says select a point. Uh, auto quad is set to yes. Uh, I'm mode as far as point and weld is yes. And retopology, uh, retopology is no. And we're going to talk about all these in detail as well. Uh, so first of all, uh, you need to pick a point, right? So uh, usually there's lines out here, a drawing or something that you have, and you want to go and kind of uh, start to get that designs, which normally you would do uh, surface flowing or whatever. Uh, but some on organic things, maybe you don't want to do that. Uh, so we'll go in here. I'm going to turn off my grid snaps here. Uh, and uh, we'll go in here and kind of just show the command itself, and then we'll go in future content and design something with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pick a point, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hold shift so it goes straight across, hold shift so it goes down, and then hold shift so it kind of goes over, right? And then I can pick another one, and I can just start uh, drawing out uh, a design here, right? Uh, going around to make whatever design I'm, to follow the surface or the curves that I, I have out here. Find that point and we'll go from this point here this time. Somewhere in here. Points are on. Point mode. Good snap. There we go. One, two, let's go over to this one. Three and then four. And we'll start right there. Go over to the one that's over here somewhere. Uh, three and four, and we'll keep on working our way. Three and four, right? 
And we want to keep our uh, lines somewhat in order. So sometimes you want to go in and turn on your point snaps and kind of uh, move things around so that they're uh, right easier, uh, nice and straight, depending on uh, what you're going for. And there's a lot more manipulation we can do in here as well. So something like that, right? Uh, to get it all lined up. Let's go back to uh, our mode there. Okay. So uh, that's our kind of our first basic one, two, three, four uh, auto quad. Auto quad means that when you click one, two, three, four, you will get a face uh, for that item there. And let's go ahead and select this and get rid of it. Uh, so it'll automatically make a face after your fourth click, but occasionally, sometimes, uh, that's, you know, not, uh, you have, you, you have to go with a triangle or something. You don't really want to, but if you go one, two, and then three, uh, click your third point and then just go ahead and uh, right click or hit enter, it will go ahead and uh, make that, uh, face for you. Uh, so if, if sometimes uh sometimes you know you might need that uh, ultimately though you really don't want you want to try to keep it in squares uh, quads it's just uh, much easier to design with uh, and manipulate later and we'll talk about all that later let's turn on point okay so um uh, that's uh, the, the very basic of a pen face. Uh, one, two, three, four with quad yes and weld yes. Okay, so let's talk about uh, quad. Uh, well, let's stay with the auto quad here. Uh, let's turn it off. Uh, so we turn it off. We, we can get one, two, three, four. It would normally make a face. Five, six. Uh, you, you can go ahead and make uh, as many faces as you want and then right click or hit enter uh, and it will go ahead and make that face. Uh, but again, usually you want to try and keep it uh, in quads. It's much easier to uh, manipulate later. But sometimes you can't help yourself. Uh, it's some things that uh, you're trying to do that you just can't do it. <laughs> uh, so let's go to a creation, a pen face again. Uh, so auto quad, yes, will give you four. But, you, you know, if you right click on uh, ending it on three or if you turn it off, you can make multiple uh uh, points pick multiple points and then just right click and it will give you the face uh so weld yes so let's turn weld no it'll still give me my points right so i'll just make a little quad and i got auto quad uh, set to yes uh and then go to that point and then it'll make that point but you can see over here we have a pink line which means it's a naked edge right so that's, uh, you know, welding, it just automatically welds to th those together. Uh, and we'll talk about how to close that off when we get into editing. But actually, let's just go ahead and real quick, give you a bonus here. Uh, you know, you can turn on points, you can go to your edit and then go to the weld command and then select two points and then just hit enter and then select two. Uh, right click bring back that command and select two points and then hit enter and now you can see it welded those points together so now it's one uh, well it's one poly surface two poly surfaces welded together uh so that's kind of the weld command yes no let's go back to pen face and let's turn it back to yes because it's always good to have on and let's just go ahead and finish this one up here real quick uh and then i'll right click off of it and we'll go to Facebook or Facebook. Okay, uh, so we have that uh, auto quad yes and no, right? And then weld yes and no. So let's check out our modes here. So let's go to a pen face and uh, mode point. That just picks the point, right? But you have other options here. You have point mode from edge and chain. So let's change to uh, from edge. So now we're in from edge mode. It'll ask you to select the edge. We'll select this one. And now all you have to do is two points and then uh, right click, bring it back. But well, you don't need to. You can just click on that edge and it'll automatically give it to you. So I'm just clicking on the edge and drawing the two points out. And you can make something very, very quick.
quickly, right, going around it to give it more uh, points. So now we have three right there. So the edge mode uh, is basically just picking an edge and then drawing out and snapping two points uh, versus, uh, you know, doing the one, two, three, four, you know, right. Uh, and now uh, let's go and uh, change our mode from edge mode to chain mode. All right, chain mode is a little bit easier uh, even yet. You can go ahead and slick your edge and then just put the first two points out there, right, on the first one. And now it automatically knows that we're going in this direction. So we only have to put the one point out there to continue that on, right? So you can go, go pretty quickly around your uh, item doing that. Uh, so it just kind of speeds things up again that's uh right uh click it on chain mode click on your edge there set the first two points uh and then it'll automatically detect we're, we're headed in the this direction and then just snap them together like that all right uh let's see what else we got here uh let's go back to pen face so uh, we talked about auto quad on and off, uh, yes, no, and we talked about the three different modes. We'll go back to point mode. We talked about yes and no, and now we're into retropology, right? Uh, so I'll go ahead and we'll go to select our entire object, select our clay U, and we'll just delete it, and I'll take this uh, viewport and we'll just change them all to uh, ghosted. Uh, we need a item. This uh, retropology command uh, in a pen face uh, is for something like uh, if you have an item out or you brought in an STL from another website or uh, you have something that you want to redo, uh, this is a very good command for that. You can redo the surface. Maybe there's a lot of, uh, you know, triangulars and all kind of, you know, stuff in there. You want to go back and, and kind of make it a little bit easier to manipulate and work with. Uh, you can use the retropology in the uh, a pen face and creations. Uh, so I'll just grab me, let's see, we'll, we'll get a primitive out here and we'll do, uh, we'll do, uh, let's see, we'll, we'll do a cone. We'll do a cone shape. So let's go ahead and change this up a little bit. We have our handles out here. Let's go ahead and make that a little bit bigger and we'll drag it up a little bit. Actually make it a little bit even bigger than that uh, and, and drag it up a little bit. Okay, so we have this out here. Uh, we'll just go ahead, let's cap it with a, a Nagon, uh, and we'll go ahead and hit OK, all right? Uh, so we have this, right? And say this is an image of a hawk or something, and you wanna go back and redo it or whatever. Uh, so retropology is uh, really not a bad way to do it. Uh, so uh, let's see, right now we're in, we'll go to smooth, well, we'll just keep, yeah, we'll go to, uh, yeah, we'll just keep it uh, here uh, in uh, our box mode. And we'll go to our creation and we'll go to a pen face. And this time we'll go to Repology, uh, yes. And then we have an offset. I think it's a uh, uh, default is 0.2. I'm going to change this one so we can kind of really see it, but closer is not too bad. Uh, we'll go ahead and change it to a one. So we're going to offset this at one. Now you can see I got me a little black box out here, right? So we want to change this up a little bit. So we're going to go in here and uh, make it a little bit more. So I have uh, point mode and I have auto quad yes. So it's automatically going ahead and uh, making that face after I click four times, right? And you can go around this item and just keep on clicking. And it is actually remaking this item for you, right? And it's hard to see what's going on here, but if we go to our perspective, uh, you can see that it is offsetting it. Well, I left it at a 0.02, so it's, so it's kind of hard to see, but it's offsetting it at a, a 0.02. If I go to smooth mode, you can see it there. You can see it a little bit better. But it's basically just redrawing this item for me with a little bit better maybe uh, topology at, than uh, 
whatever item you're trying to redo, right? Uh, so it's a good way to, uh, you know, from outside sources, go back and uh, redesign something by just going over it. And then you can manipulate it maybe a little bit easier uh, <clears throat> later on. Okay, so let's see. Let's take this, get rid of that, delete, and we'll delete that. And we'll go back to our creation. And we talked about uh, auto quad yes, no, all our modes. Uh, we talked about weld yes, repology, and our offsets. So I think that'll do it for uh, our append face. And we will go back and uh, design some things with the repol uh, with uh, append face at, at a later date in future content. So be sure to be checking back in. If you haven't hit that notification bell, now's the time to do it so we can uh, get the notifications on the updates. So uh, hopefully this helps you get a better understanding of a pen face. And if so, please tap that like, subscribe. And again, uh, coffee's not a bad idea. So thanks a lot for watching and good designing.